Previously, we discussed 15 of the 20 amino acids that make up the proteins found in the human body. So we spoke about the eight hydrophobic amino acids, we spoke about the five polar but uncharged amino acids, and we also discussed the two special cases, proline and glycine. Now let's discuss the five remaining amino acids. And the special thing about these five remaining amino acids is they all contain a full charge on their side chain groups at the normal physiological period. And that's exactly what makes them very highly hydrophilic because they have that full charge. Now, lysine, arginine, and histidine are basic amino acids. And what that means is their side chain groups at the normal physiological pH bears a full positive charge. On the other hand, aspartate and glutamate are the two acidic amino acids. And what that means is their side chains bear full negative charge at the normal physiological pH of around seven. So let's begin with lysine. Now, lysine contains the following relatively log side chain groups. So we have one, two, three, four of these carbon atoms, and each one of these carbon atoms has two H atoms. Now, at the terminal end of the side group, we have a primary amino group. And what that means is we have a nitrogen that is bound to a single carbon, as shown in the following diagram. Now, all of these lysine amino acids at the normal physiological pH of around 7 have a full positive charge on that nitrogen. And that's because to actually deprotonate our nitrogen, we really have to increase our pH. We have to make it basic because the pKa value of this nitrogen is 10. Remember, what the pKa means is if the pH is equal to the pKa, then that is the point at which half of these molecules are deprotonated and half of them are protonated. So if we're below the pKa of 10 at the physiological pH of 7, that means all of these lysine amino acids will be protonated, will have a full positive charge on the nitrogen. That's exactly what makes lysine a basic amino acid. It has a full positive charge on that side chain group. Now, let's move on to arginine. Arginine, just like lysine, also contains this relatively long side chain group. But instead of having this primary amino group, the group here is known as the guanidinium group. And the guanidinium group has an even higher pKa value. This is equal to a pKa of 12.5. And what that means is, all of these side chain groups for all of these arginine at the normal physiological pH of 7 will be protonated, will have a full positive charge. Now, unlike in this case, in this case, the positive charge is delocalized among different atoms and that stabilizes this molecule. So this molecule is, in fact, resonance stabilized. And finally, let's look at histidine. Now, we saw that lysine and arginine are always positively charged at the physiological pH of around 7. The thing about histidine is, even though it is basic, it bears a full positive charge on that side chain group, it can also sometimes be neutral at the physiological pH of around 7. And that's because, unlike in this case and this case, the pKa value here is around 6. And what that means is, Histidine can exist in its protonated or deprotonated state at a neutral pH. And this really depends on what the local environment is and what the local conditions are around this amino acid. Now, this group here is known as the imidazole group, and it has a pKa of 6.0. Now, which one of these atoms will gain that H atom and be protonated? Well, it's this nitrogen here. So at the physiological pH, this is the nitrogen that can be protonated. And so when this is protonated, we basically gain a positive charge. And that positive charge can be delocalized among this region here. So if this gains an H atom, then what happens is this is delocalized among these two atoms. 
and there will be a positive charge that is delocalized and so this is also resonance stabilized just like the arginine because this is essentially an aromatic ring. Now, the thing about histidine, because it contains a lower pKa and because it can be protonated or deprotonated at the physiological pH, this is a very common amino acid that exists in the active sites of enzymes. Remember, an enzyme is a biological catalyst that speeds up different reactions and the active site is the location on that enzyme where that reaction actually takes place. So histidine is very commonly found in the active sites of many different enzymes as we'll see in our study of biochemistry. So we have lysine and arginine which are always positively charged on their side chain groups at the physiological pH of 7. Histidine which is also basic like lysine and arginine but the thing about histidine is it can either be positively charged or neutral at the normal physiological pH. Now let's move on to the two acidic amino acids aspartate and glutamate. So what do we mean by acidic amino acids? Well acidic simply means that the side chain groups will have a full negative charge at the normal physiological pH and that's because the pKa value of the side chains will be relatively low, will be below 7. So if we examine the pKa value of the side chain groups in aspartate and glutamate, the pKa value is 4.1 and what that means is below 4.1 these groups are very likely to be protonated but above 4.1 these groups are very likely to be deprotonated and so at a physiological pH of around 7 these two groups will exist in their deprotonated state and these two groups are known as the carboxylate ion groups and so they will bear a full negative charge and that full negative charge will be delocalized among these two electronegative oxygen atoms and that will be a stabilizing effect. Now the only difference between these two amino acids is in this particular case we have an extra carbon in this case we have one less carbon as in this case. Now when we are below the pKa value of 4.7 or actually when we are below the pH value of 4.7 these are going to be protonated. Now when this is protonated we no longer call it aspartate we call it aspartic acid. So aspartate refers to our uh, amino acid form that exists in the physiological pH of around 7. So this in its deprotonated form is known as aspartate but if we protonate, the, if we protonate this then it's called aspartic acid and likewise in its deprotonated state we call it glutamate but in its protonated state we call it glutamic acid. So these are the two acidic amino acids while the other two or the other three are basic amino acids. And once again, these five amino acids are very highly hydrophobic because they bear a full charge. In this case, it's a full positive charge. In this case, it's a full negative charge.